Athy Kids and Parents! This weekend in Athy Kids, we will be reading from Genesis chapter 6 about God flooding the earth. God saw that mankind was totally sinful. They had stained God's image within them and corrupted all of God's creation. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord regretted that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him to his heart. So the Lord said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, man and animals and creeping things and birds of the heavens, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless in his generation. Noah walked with God, and Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And God said to Noah, I have determined to make an end of all flesh, for the earth is filled with violence through them. Behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and out with pitch. For behold, I will bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh in which is the breath of life under heaven. Everything that is on the earth shall die, but I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall come into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. And of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every sort into the ark to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female. Also take with you every sort of food that is eaten and store it up. It shall serve as food for you and for them. Noah did this. He did all that God commanded him. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, on the 17th day of the month, on that day all the fountains of the great deep burst forth, and the windows of the heavens were opened, and rain fell upon the earth forty days and forty nights. On the very same day, Noah and his sons, Shem and Ham and Japheth, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them, entered the ark. They went into the ark with Noah, two and two of all the flesh in which there was the breath of life. And those that entered, male and female, of all flesh, went in as God had commanded them. And the Lord shut him in. The flood continued forty days on the earth. The waters increased and bore up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. The waters prevailed and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the face of the waters. And the waters prevailed so mightily on the earth that all the high mountains under the whole heaven were covered. Everything on the dry land in whose nostrils was the breath of life died. He blotted out every living thing that was on the face of the ground, man and animals and creeping things and the birds of the heavens. They were blotted out from the earth. Only Noah was left and those who were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed on the earth 150 days. Although God is patient, giving much time for repentance, God also hates sin because he is holy. So God displayed his wrath by drowning the world in a flood, but he also showed his grace, choosing one man, the righteous Noah, to build an ark that would save both man and animals. The teaching points will vary slightly from classroom to classroom. For example, in the younger pre-K through launch point classes, we'll look to simplify the teaching points in the following way. God sent the flood to destroy sin. God saved Noah because Noah pleased God. In the older prime time through next level classes, the main points will be, God sent the flood to destroy sin. The Lord was pleased by righteous Noah. The Lord destroyed all that had breath except for Noah's family. We want to drive home what will happen to those that reject God's grace. By the time of the flood, sin had polluted all of God's creation, and it seemed Satan was destroying the image of God in man. But God kept one righteous man, Noah, in order to keep his promise of a coming Savior. The Savior saves those who trust in him, just as the ark saved Noah from the flood. But those who reject God's grace should be afraid. When God's patience ends, he will destroy the unrepented just as he did in the time of the flood. That is the message we're hoping to communicate this weekend. And as always, we'd love to partner with you in that endeavor. We hope to see you this weekend. Until then, God bless you.